In this video, we're gonna replace the front brakes on this Chevy Silverado. Let's get into it. We're gonna pull the wheel off, take the center cap off first, use a straight blade screwdriver. You might wanna use a rag so you don't scratch anything. Just pop that off. Using a 22 millimeter socket, take the lug nuts off. the wheel off. Take these two caliper bolts out. Use a 19 millimeter socket. I'm just going to take a prying tool. You can use a pry bar. Just pry the caliper just slightly to make it easier to remove and grab the caliper, slide it off using a caliper hanger. Just going to hang this from the coil spring. Now take the brake pads off, just slide those out. Take the two caliper bracket bolts out, use a 18 millimeter socket. Slide the bracket off. Now take the rotor off. I'm going to use a T30 socket. Take the screw out. And if the rotor is stuck on there, you want to take a hammer and just hit in these locations. Just be careful of the studs. Now I'm going to clean up the hub surface, any of the rust material. Just use a wire brush. I'm going to use a thin coat of anti-seize on the hub surface. I'm going to start by putting the rotor on backwards. Take some brake parts cleaner. Wash off the back side of the rotor and wipe it down. Spin the rotor around. You want to line up that hole right there with the threaded hole. Then we'll do the same on this side. Brake parts cleaner. And wipe it down. Now put the screw in. And just snug it up. Now we're going to clean up the brake caliper bracket. Just use a straight blade screwdriver. Take these anti-rattle clips off. You can use a wire brush. Just clean any of the rust buildup underneath there. Thin coat of caliper grease. Take the new anti-rattle clip, put those on. And then another thin coat of grease, just where the pads are gonna sit. And 
and do the same on the other side. Now we're going to take the pins out, just grab the pin, slide it out, take a little brake parts cleaner, wash it off with a rag. And if it was badly corroded, you want to get some brake parts cleaner and a wire brush and just clean out the, uh, clean out the hole. This one looks pretty good. So we'll just clean, use some brake caliper grease on the pin. Slide it back in, make sure it seals from the boot. Do the same on this one. seals and now you can reinstall it on the car. Now slide the bracket in place, take the bolts. You can put some thread lock adhesive on those bolts. Get those started. Tighten, it, tighten them down. I'm going to torque these bolts to 129 foot-pounds. Take the brake pads, slide those in position. Now we want to compress the caliper. Use a caliper compressing tool. And nice and slow, push the pistons in. As the pistons get pushed in, it's pushing the fluid through the brake hoses, through the lines, back up into the master cylinder reservoir. Just go nice and slow. Now take the brake caliper off the hanger and slide it over the brake pads. And put the bolts in, get those started. Tighten those down. Torque those bolts to 74 foot-pounds. Now 
put the wheel up. Put the lug nuts on. I'm going to torque the lug nuts in a cross pattern to 140 foot pounds. Now just go around again, double check. Now I take the center cap. There is a little picture of a valve stem. You want to line that up with the valve stem. Lock it down. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.